Greg, thank you very much. Uh, I'm real honored to be here tonight. I, it's a pleasure to just be a small part of this uh, celebration of uh, a tremendous high school. Lutheran North. Let me tell you, I my sister married a Lutheran North graduate. Pla Robert Thompson played football on one of Mike Russell's great football team, state championship team. So, believe me, every day of my life, I get a tutorial on how to create Lutheran North kids. Every day, I see him come over. Okay, Robert, yeah. But uh, believe me, I don't need one because I've I, I've seen it myself over the course of 32 years. Just finished my 32 30 second year of covering high school sports and. Believe me, I've spent more than my share of time at uh, on Lucas and Hunt. Uh, you know, basketball, football, track and field, uh, it, it doesn't matter. The athletics and, uh, I mean, great students and great people, coaches. You know, they, Lutheran North is a quote unquote small school. Small only in enrollment and class, class two or class three. Other than that, nothing small about Lutheran North. When you talk about the, as I said, the state championships, the district championships, the Hall of Fame coaches, and just think, you think of Super Bowls, World Series, Olympics, major college bowl games, Rose Bowl, Cotton Bowl, you can tie a Lutheran North alum to those. These are the biggest events we have in our country, and Lutheran North athletes are tied to the history of these events. And not many, you're gonna have to do a lot of research to find any other school in St. Louis that's tied to those, all of those big time events on our, in our uh, athletic landscape. So uh, once again, congratulations to your school and uh, official uh, welcome and induction to the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. And I'd like to bring up the principal of Lutheran North High School, Tim Brockman, and we're gonna talk a little bit. Tim. First, Tim, congratulations on behalf of your school. Uh, obviously, we're celebrating so many past accom great accomplishments, great people, great athletes. But as the principal, you get a chance to see the present. And uh, Lutheran North still hasn't lost a beat when it comes to success in uh, every walk of life, is it? Thanks, Earl. Um, you said a few other things I was thinking at the same time. What a small part I play in such a rich and sorry tradition of, of um, Lutheran High School North and just uh, blessed to be here, blessed to see all the faces. Some of you I see more routinely than others. Some of you I haven't seen for a long, long time, but um, it's just exciting. The, the love for the school and the, the tradition, the way that God has blessed us with putting the right people in the right place at the right time um, over the years. If you don't mind, I'm going to pull this podium back just a little bit. Yeah. I feel like people can't see. Never stop being a principal. I want to run everything. <laughs> it's not about singing me. It's about a clear line of vision to watch what you might do. That's what principals do. And I can go home and say, Steve Atwater, help me tonight. That was pretty cool, too. <laughs> and we talked about, like you said, uh, uh, the past and, and just such so many things happening. But one, one thing that really was exciting to see at Luther North was the addition of lights. Friday night football at Luther North. And you know, Luther North obviously has played football on Saturday and played great football, but something special. And I was at that opening night against Orchard Farm. It was, it was something special. I know that had to be gratifying to see that event. Yeah, it was pretty fun. When you look back over the, the years, you know, we had uh, many years of, and I'll try not to steal anybody's thunder, but I got to say something up here, right? So uh, the years of track championships where we had a cinder track that was underwater most of the time, and um, years of, of Saturday afternoon football games. You're right, it was great football, but people weren't excited about coming out in the heat at times or whatever it may be. Um, this year was really, really fun to have what we call them, term of Crusader Night Lights. And um, not just great football being played, but great connections with people, kind of like tonight. Uh, people coming back out. Uh, yes, people love a winner but they also wanted to be back to their alma mater. They wanted to make connections with people on the sidelines in addition to watching great things on the, on the gridiron. And to kind of culminate that whole uh, celebration of Friday Night Lights at the end of the season, one of the biggest events I ever covered in my 32 years was the Lutheran North Trinity uh, District Championship football game. It was a classic football game, but uh, it was more than a football game. It was, like I said, it was a community event. I, I, there were people that came up to me, they were 
were lived all across the country. They actually flew in from different parts of the country just to be a part of that. So it was like a class reunion, and that's what it was all about, wasn't it? Yeah, that was pretty fun. I, I told Earl I printed off the article he wrote in St. Louis American. It sits on the table in my office. Uh, because first of all, it was a wonderful ar article, and it, it summarized what I was thinking and feeling. Um, so I would encourage you to look that up. But an in, in immediate classic after the, the game the year before, that was such a good game, and, and the buzz in the community started. Um, two undefeated teams, um, and the connections, if you, if you know North County, you know that everybody's kind of connected through Luther North, Trinity, North County, et cetera, right? We're all kind of pulling in the in uh, in the in a certain direction there and this fortunately it lived up to the hype there was a back and forth struggle somebody would make a mistake and in the next series he would make the, the best play on the field um, and of course without a doubt Luther North came out on top so yeah that made it absolutely and if I may uh, I saw Ronnie Perkins are you here could you stand up that is a young man who was a future star headed to Oklahoma a big part of that big part of that team so we got the past and the, and the future right here. Thank you, Ron. Uh, tremendous player. But uh, only, the only, the only problem was those of you who still give me trouble because you couldn't get into the game that night because we stopped traffic from 70 to West Florissant and uh, not everybody could actually get into the stadium with the thousands of people. And yet the community in the stadium, even though it was a great hard-fought game, was kind of like a family reunion, like you said, it was really fun. And in closing, like you say, Lutheran North, that shows that Lutheran North is more than a school, but it, it is a community and a family, isn't it? And that really exemplified it. Yeah, absolutely. We talk about the Crusader way at Lutheran North, and that boils down to really kind of, we, we've kind of tried to short summarize it for the kids. It's, it's Christ-centered. It's living uh, with Christ in your heart and at the forefront each and every day. It's about academic excellence. It's about a family atmosphere and the family community. And then it's about big dreams. And that ties in, I think, real well tonight to tonight because we've got kids, students in our building today who are dreaming big because of the, the forefathers. Those of you that are being honored tonight, they say, wow, I'd like to meet so-and-so or he or she was really great. But at the same time, I think deep down inside, they're saying, and I think I could probably do it too. If, if he came from here or if she grew up here and did this, wow, maybe I can do it too. So it creates a belief mindset in our students. That's something we really strive for. Well, Tim, thank you very much. Congratulations. And uh, Lutheran North, Lutheran High School North, welcome to the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. Yeah.